Right, so it's a little while after a minute now. Uh, I've waited to get the certificate through the door before we make this uh, thoughts afterwards, summary, final video. See Trojan's back on the bench, still wearing the oil, haven't yet cleaned it. My bad, I know, but you know, being busy, I've had a big old scout camp, haven't done it yet. Uh, she did well. Um, we all we all found the track conditions difficult. Um, some more so than others. Some engines looked like there was no track condition problems at all, um, which is just the way of it. Um, as you might have seen in other videos, I started off with two passengers plus the observer, and didn't quite make it over the top of the hill the first time round with any passengers on. Now, we all say this classic cliche in neck, I should have taken one less. Um, if I had taken one less, I probably would have got round with one passenger and stuck with one passenger. Um, because after that first time round, that first lap, she found her feet and she just ran thoughtlessly for quite a way. I think she did 12, 14 laps. So, that, so Trojan is now back on the bench. Uh, she loved it. I will quite happily run Trojan again at Nimrick. With, with, the, with the rattling sorted out, that became quite apparent. Under a bit more like under some Logan speed. Um, but she's done some work, I'm not surprised. We can get some more weight in there as well, which always helps. Uh, so, from my point of view, as amazing Imlek entry, what do I think of it? Um, well, from. Having never done one of it, having never entered one of these before, but having had organised or been part of the organisation of last year's Imlek, from a competitor's point of view, from my limited experience, I thought it was quite good. Um, turned up, got given a pack, signed in, got given a pack, had meal vouchers in it, had some badges in it. Um, a nice little cast one from Alcar Sins that was like a bearing cover. Quite nice. And the proper on a competitor badge. Um, and the program, a copy of the program. Um, it was pretty straightforward. Unloaded facilities were restricted and easy to get to. No hassle getting it in and out of the car, plenty of help around the bays. Um, there's an argument either way whether the bay should be open or closed. I'm not fussed either way. I like to be able to wander around the bays when I'm, when I'm at an Imlek and have a chat to people. Which as a competitor, I know what I can do. But if I'm not going as a competitor, it is nice to be able to wander around and have a chat. Um, rather than being sort of just cut off over, over there. So as a competitor, it was nice and easy. We got in, we got sorted, met the observer. On the day of running. Uh, while I was waiting to light up, we went and sorted the coal out. There was ample amounts of charcoal. The bays were nice set up. There was a turntable in the bays because no two clubs run the same direction. Let's get out of the car. Um, for, at the park, we go smoke box into the car. At Guildford, they prefer smoke box out of the car. Luckily, one of the bays is a turntable, so that solved that problem. That ain't now to pick the thing up. Um, choice of trolleys now there is an interesting point of conversation there's a point of argument that the choice of trolleys swayed who retired and who didn't as opposed to the final scores so I ran with the little trolleys so did the simplex in the morning we both had solid runs whereas most of the smaller size engines that tried to go with the bigger trolleys stalled, slipped, didn't get almost anywhere. Some of them retired purely over choice of trolleys, even with no passengers on. So equal passenger load, the choice of trolleys was so heavy versus a nice light little pair. I don't know, I know it all had to draw by load, but when you look at a trolley on the track, you think, oh, I can pull a trolley. I know they told us there were 78 kilos, 
but that's really heavy for an empty trolley. I don't even think those little ones I took weighed that between them. Um, so that was that was kind of inconsistent, not ideal. I do feel the trolleys are unnecessarily heavy, especially with that daft brake van on the back. But each of their own, they are big commercial trolleys. But it does limit to big locos, which I'm not a fan of. I like little locos. I like little locos. <laughs> big locos aren't the be all and end all. Um, so, all in all, uh, getting on and off the track was nice and easy. Slightly strange place to start, but I get that it's at the end of the siding and the bendy bend to get on and off the track with. So there's that for it as well. The run went well, got back off, sorted out, got back in the car. No problem from a competitor's point of view. As an observer, on the other hand, there were some things to note. Um, in some ways, it's almost like no one really knew what an observer, what, what just visitors, observers, people that wanted to come to watch him, like spectators, wanted to actually see. Why do I say that? Well, the start line was in a bit that was supposed to be competitors only and was a little bit set back from where spectators could be. Unless they went right around the other side and sat where there was nothing else. So yeah, a spectator could get right down behind the start line. But there's no disabled act, very little or no disabled access to that point because it was over another bridge. All the facilities were in the other bit and when everybody's starting off and people are standing around, officials and other competitors having their nose, spectators couldn't see the start because we were just crowded out. Um, so that was a bit peculiar. Again, that's a choice of where they started, but then you could have allowed spectators into it. I, I don't know, but that was a bit weird. Um, from a, what else from a spectator's point of view? Some of the track you couldn't get to. It's on a track you can't get to. There's no fault with clubs, that's just the layout of the site. Um, it seems like spectators were an afterthought to competitors and their supporters. It almost seemed like no one really expected pure spectators to turn up. Um, and when they did, it was kind of like, oh, we don't know what to do with these now. So, quite nice, had the gauge running the 32 running, which, for all I know, was nothing to do with him, it was just a day for them to play. It was a weekend, so well, why not? Um, it did seem at times that there was muggles, I'm going to call them muggles, because what else do you call non in the hobby or non in the know, um, from outside wandering, which is quite nice to see. I don't see a problem with that. But they were left with, well, can we have a go? Well, no, you can't have a go. There was not really any, any signage up. Um, also, the, the, the timing clock was only really visible from one place, and it was before the start line. So, if I'm sitting on as a driver, I expect to be able to see the clock where I'm starting from, but the clock was back there. So yes, you could come around the corner and see the clock and work out if I need to stop or not. I still have time to stop for the stop line. But sure, that's why the observer's got a stopwatch as well. So that was kind of weird. And it being back there was out of sight from where all the spectators were. Unless they purposely stood, when they stood in a really weird place, which was not good for watching the rest of it. Um... And there's usual gripe about the scoreboard that didn't get updated very very promptly or it got updated in batches rather than after every run. Uh, it was nice to see an online digital scoreboard. Um, someone else had a go at doing one. I like it. I'm all for online digital scoreboards. But again, it had the same problem. It wasn't updated very often or very quickly. Um, overnight, Friday to Saturday, it didn't get updated until Saturday morning with the last few from the Friday night. So it was a bit nice to have but should have been on the ball I think Guildford ran a good event um, everyone will always moan about different bits of Imlec 
Um, some people didn't like the fact that we ran with a constant degreaser and brake van. But he kept the track clean. Only the first person who took too many, for those you know, mates, then, he took far too many. He's the only person that really had any problems. So as far as I can see, our degreasing solution worked well. It was fair, it was done every run, it was constant. Everybody had the same track conditions. Cleaning in between, and only cleaning certain bits of tracks a bit, a bit hit and miss. Um, so where do we go next? So next year's event is at Bristol. I will be entering as soon as the forms come out. What will I be entering with is the question. So at the moment, we know there's nothing wrong with her other than some rattles and clanks, but she's a you know, nicely running loco. She needs a clean sort the lubricator out because she did run out of oil. Um, <laughs> about halfway through the run, there was no oil left in the pot. I've been turning that down slowly over the last few weeks because we turned it up to overcome the clack that you saw me fix in previous videos. And I've been turning it down and turned down. I didn't turn it down enough and it emptied the pot in half, a, in half the run, which is why it's wearing it all. It probably didn't help my score, but the maiden run with no passengers and just in, in it for the fun, I'm, I was never going to stand a chance of winning it against some of the other entries. Um, I was just trying to have a good run on a maiden run for me. So next year at Bristol, by default, I'll be entering her, unless our other poly that we're playing with and rebuilding is done by then. In which case, I'll run that as poly six two six zero tender. Uh, about the same, lot well, more weight per axle than Trojan, because we've added to it um, mechanical differences and tweaks and changes. Um, steam path tweaks, steam changes, cylinder and valve just steam tweaks. And whatever. Next year should be fun at Bristol. So I think well done, Guildford. Thank you for stepping up and organising it. No one ever get, no one's ever going to please everybody with every aspect of it. I think all those that ran, minus a few that will moan because of heavy trolleys or a slippery bank or whatever I think most people had a good weekend I certainly did uh, and uh, and the same goes I think I can say the same the same goes for other mates and entries and members right I've waffled on for longer than I thought it would I'm gonna uh, the next video will be something else here while Trojan gets well earned rest before we do stuff to her over the winter. Um, so there'll be another local on the bench, as well as that one over there, and those, that one there, and that one that's in pieces, and there's white, yeah. There's more coming, and we're getting onto that now. Imlek's out of the way. Imlek, what's the focus? That's done, we can move on with other projects. Right, catch you later.